You can just do the standard shut down and get it all powered off. That means once it's shut down, you can unplug uh, any external monitors, any external drives. I'm going to wait for this blue light to go out. There we go. I can. So now that is ready. Uh, close the lid. Unplug the power. Turn this over, and then. It's just a matter of undoing all the screws. Um, so you need a Phillips screwdriver for doing the screws, the smallest one. Uh, so I've got a, a choice here if, if I need. So taking out the screws and then you need something like a little tin or a little a lid. Something where you can put the screws so you don't lose them. What I sometimes do, if I've got something big enough, is I'll try and put them in order that they came in here. And it does help to have a magnet magnetic head, because you can lift the screws out. While you're here, click the like and subscribe. Thanks. This is a bit easier as it's been opened before. Once all the screws are out, it should just generally lift off. So that's that. Now the memory, the RAM is here. And the US SSD is there. Now I've got a 980, but I've ordered 980 Pro, slightly bigger and faster. The SSD NVMe. Now this one is a lot faster. The one I've got in there at the moment goes up to about four, uh, three, just over three. So this is like double. Uh, I don't know how it's going to go, but because you'll have to reinstall Windows, but if you've already got Windows on there, you may want, not want to lose all your info and, and that type of stuff. So what you can do is there is a second slot here. Doesn't matter which way around they go, actually, because you just do, you assign it in the BIOS. Not easy. There we go. So it's that one there. And then slide that out. Look at that. Nice. So this so if you're going above above 500 gigabytes, you potentially need to have the heat sink on it. And what that does is actually make it quite thick. It's a lot thicker than the previous one. The second slot is here and the screw for it is here. So I'm going to take the screw out. But it just slots into there. Now I don't know if this would be better over this side which has more space. And then you push it down and fix a screw here in there now what I want to do is I want to be able to clone the operating system and all my files on here onto there and then I can make that the boot drive now because it is thicker actually if you look on the cover there and there there are kind of heat sinks built in i will potentially need to take out this one here by unscrewing it and then that will touch the case instead so we unscrew that pull that out so you can see it is a metal sort of heat sink which is good it's there 
and then put it all back together. My computer. There isn't one there. It hasn't come up yet, so it's either needs formatting, setting up, recognizing. The next step is more likely you want to copy all your operating system and your files over to the new drive. So what you do is go to the, the Samsung website here. It's called Semiconductor Samson. And then we go down and you've got data migration here. And you want to download the data migration software. It says Samson data migration software is designed to help users quickly, easily and safely migrate all of their data, including the current operating system, application software and user data from the existing storage drive, e.g. a HD, or maybe SSD, to their new Samson SSD. So I've downloaded it, and I'm just installing that now, accepting the terms. Finish. And now we have the select the drive so that's my old drive target drive and I'm selecting the pro so it says uh, 195 195 yeah so it's going to copy and then start your computer will be shut down after the date of migration, in 20 seconds, when you cloning starts, all the data of the target drive will be deleted and cannot be recovered. All of the files on the source drive that are open cannot be cloned. Please close all running files before cloning. So when I'm going to turn my virus thing off, I've got to close that down so I might have to I can quit that I can exit that so you can go in the task manager okay and you can find things in there like I've got my cloud so I can quite easily end task that so there's things in there you can obviously think oh yeah I'm, I'm not using that close it down uh, a vast definitely doesn't want to close so I'm really stuck and I'm just gonna have to go with that like this it's doing it while your computer's up and running and as you can see the last one percent is slower where it's either validating what it's just done so it's verifying and this could take a similar amount of time so there we go the system is going to shut down <clears throat> or you can shut it down now <clears throat> So I've taken out the old SSD and we'll see whether it boots and we've got the firmware update which we can now potentially safely do knowing that this is this is now the new drive so what it's done it's uh, got my recovery partition it's got these seem to be a slightly different order so the C boot drive is now when it was 500 meg it's now way bigger and I've now got an extra 700 gig so now I'm gonna exit that and I can now say update click on update it says you are currently running the latest version so it's all up to date now I haven't done any tests yet so that's what I need to do first now performance optimization I had this on uh, 
the full power mode before so I'm going to have to change things like that we've got a diagnostic scan and we've got the benchmark so let's have a look quickly at drive details it's just telling us how much space there is and run our first test so my last one got about 3.1.2.0 and the right speed was about 2.8 so it be interesting to see how much difference this is the differences so automatically I've got 6,600 so I'm already double on my read speed so this is PCI 4 now the write speed isn't going to be anywhere near this it's the write speed of 5,000 and it's 4,930 that's only 70 away from the maximum write speed. Yeah, I am just so pleased with this. This is just brilliant. If this has been helpful, please click like and subscribe and have a good day.